Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation. Thank you for joining. I wanted to go ahead and continue the topic of decalcifying your pineal gland. There's a couple things I think um, should be touched on a little bit harder and I didn't want to make the other video go too, too long. And I had some things I wanted to grab too for a demonstration that um, would be useful. So the first thing is sodium fluoride. You know, so your toothpaste, and I touched on this in the other video, but I didn't have the toothpaste. This is one that doesn't have anything in it that is bad for you. It's basically sea salt and mint and like licorice and some other stuff. Um, very simple, pretty effective at cleaning the teeth. If you want to make it a little bit more effective, you can add, put it into like a little container and mix um, some more sea salt with it so that it's more coarse and it, it actually is more abrasive and it cleans the teeth a little better. So that works really good. And when you're buying any types of products, you know, that you're going to put into your body, whether it be makeup or any of that stuff, check them, check them, check them, because that really, the, the toxicity that comes from things like that, um, deodorants I wanted to talk about, I, you know, I get some things from Lush that, um, that are, they don't have any aluminum in them, they don't have anything in there that, um, they, and they help with perspiration, they help with everything, so with odor and perspiration. And also, this is a weird little thing, but I shave my arms, and I shave them, not because it's pretty or any feminine, but it really does help with odor, because the, the biggest part of the odor that comes is on the hair follicles. The, the bacteria go to the hair follicles, and on the hair, and that's where they first start to propagate to create odor. And I've noticed since I've been shaving them, and then I put on like the deodorant from Lush or something that is organic, that doesn't have any aluminum in it, that doesn't have any crap in it. You know, there's no nothing in there that will hurt the pineal gland or any other part of your body, brain and everything else attached to it. Um, and it doesn't take much of it because the hair sucks up so much of it and so much of these deodorants and antiperspirants that you use so much more of them. So it's a very effective, very efficient way. You know, I get some crap from friends and whatnot. I was like, why do you shave your arms, little girl? And I'm like, oh, because it's a lot neater, it's a lot nicer, and it's, you know, it's I, I, I present myself um, as less odorous, <laughs> I guess is the only way to say it. It's like, I think that it actually is uh, a lot cleanlier, a lot cleaner. So I end up doing that, and uh, I, I I tried that about a year ago, and I'm like, wow, um, I was living on the East Coast, and I was outside working a lot, and it's hot there, and you know, odor is a critical item out there, and the deodorant, like the organic one, works really good, but with the hair there, not because it really so much growth in the bacteria there that it it really kicks up odor. But after I start shaving it and using the deodorant, no issues, and still no issues to this date. So. Alternatives to everything, alternatives to deodorant, alternatives to your toothpaste, um, to your facial creams, just check them all. Just make sure that everything that you're putting on are near your body. Um, and your deodorants and, you know, everything. Like, these shells I know are authentic, they're not the synthetic ones, because a lot of times they give me a rash. Um, some of these ones that are plastic, you know, you're getting things leached into your body. Um, when you're wearing jewelry, and if you, if you don't know what it is, sometimes it's putting things into your body. Um, some of those resins and things that they use to, to cover them up, they come off and go into the body. So your moisturizers, everything that you put on a thing, and like if you put something in your hair, check that out. Make sure you get as organic as possible. Um, for intercourse, for sex, you know, you want um, some of these higher-end lubricants and whatnot are terrible for you. I mean, they're petroleum-based, and they can cause yeast infections, and they can do all these crazy things. Um, coconut oil, or like um, something very similar to that. Uh, there's another oil that's pH neutral. It's like a palm oil, and uh, those work really good. They are very low in friction, and you know they they do what needs to be done if you find that you do need lubrication. Um, so those types of things. So really, alternatives to everything. If you're thinking a bit in that in that nature. Now, soaps and detergents are probably the highest culprits and colognes and stuff like that. Um, we'll get into that later. But soaps and detergents are really wrecking the pineal gland because of all these perfumes and all these things that are in there. Um, and I found a really nice alternative to most of those. I use this for my facials. I use this for everything. I, I use this even to do laundry. And um, I even have used this to do like um, into the dishwasher. 
Now you have to do something special with it to do it in the dishwasher. You have to mix it with water and let it set. Cause I have it. I had a very I Love Lucy moment in that I put it in there regular strength, and I didn't put that much. I didn't put much in there at all because this is a concentrate. And um, and just a quick little backstory on on. Well, let me finish that story. It's, uh, I spent two hours cleaning up suds coming out of this thing, and I literally had to spend two hours cleaning up the floor with all the bubbles. Like that one time when I Love Lucy was in there, and uh, she was trapped in the room with all the bubbles. Uh, I kind of felt like that. It was, it was just insane. But I've used this for everything, for cleaning everything. And you can use it for laundry. You just have to mix it with a little bit of water before you put it in there. You don't want to put it in there full strength. But when you buy it, most places will give you some directions on how to use it. Interesting background on this is its, uh, its inception is somebody who had no idea, had never used any kinds of formulas or made any types of products woke up one time and you know, wrote out a formula and uh, this thing you could drink this and I'm not suggesting to you that you drink this all right um, but you can drink this and I have drank this you know I didn't drink a whole thing of this but I, I have drank and uh, drank some of this and this is it's a, it's, a, it's a detox it actually goes and detoxes the intestine <clears throat> and your body <clears throat> so this is like one of the best types of soaps. Now I'm allergic to everything. And uh, when I say just about everything, I mean just about everything. Uh, I can even touch a battery or something that's just brand new and I'll get a rash. And I always have, and that was always a very strange type of thing. Um, and this is probably one of the only soaps. I can't use fabric softeners. I can't use regular detergents. It gives me a rash. And eventually that rash turns into something that becomes an issue cardiovascularly because of so much swelling. It gets to be hard to breathe and need medications to, to manage it. So in decalcifying the pineal gland, getting rid of all those things that are calcifying it in the first place, and then going back in like in the first video I talked about doing raw food diets and the which are very alkaline, um, adding this as an alternative to a lot of things that you do, washing your hands or doing the dishes or um, even trying it in, in the shower. And you can even mix this with other things like I've mixed this with lavender before, like a little bit of real lavender, like an organic lavender oil that I got from, um, forgot where. I got once at, one at the Renaissance Fair and I mixed it and it was really nice. And uh, you know, it didn't take much of either to get the job done. So you can have these types of alternatives and this is a really, really good one. You can get it all kinds of places. You can get it off of eBay. You can you can get it by the gallons if you when you really like it, you can get like a giant gallon of it. And it lasts for a very, very, very long time because it is a concentrate. That is a fantastic alternative, and that is a fantastic way to keep the pineal gland from recalcifying as you're working on decalcifying it. So all these types of things and all these soaps and all these types of things, you know, all these are aggressive nature and these do advance aging and, you know, they do damage other cells in, in the body and, they, you know, they slow things down. They are impedance to higher vibrations because... Um, it is something that your body has to handle and it's something that your body has to do. So really it is holistic approach. You are a holistic being and you're trying to reintegrate yourself in this day and age. You're a multidimensional being having an earth experience and you're starting to remember that there's more to you than what you're thinking and that what you're seeing and these other types of things like, you know, like being able to get these toothpaste and, and using alternatives and, you know, Having lemon water and you know, alkalinizing yourself and helping decalcify the pineal gland are critical to this process. Matter of fact, I think that they're not separate from this process of all of going on to an ascension path, going into a path that would be a higher vibration. If you're looking to be a little kinder and be a little nicer and just have a little better quality of life overall, Anything that I've suggested will really serve you. Now, these idea of water filtration systems, I wanted to touch on that one last time. Um, clean water is critical in getting rid of, you know, and anything and everything that's in there. Sodium fluoride and the chlorine and all this stuff that's in there. You need filtration systems to get rid of all that. And when you're taking a shower, you can get these filtration systems that go on the shower head if you can't have one that does um, the whole house. Uh, and if you're renting or if you're in an apartment or if you're traveling, I used to take this traveling with me all the time and I'd mount it on the shower, it'd pain in the ass, but if I stayed for any length of time, I would do it. Um, the, the thing about taking baths and stuff like that, if you're not using filtered water, then you know, you're actually literally just polluting your body and you're creating a lower energy state and, uh, you know, and you're doing these other things to try to balancing it out. 
And uh, I try to do that because I love to take a bath, just uh, as a personal FYI. It's just, it's, I, I'm Pisces and I would live in the water and I have tons of houses that are in Pisces for my signs. And uh, I would, if I could, I'd be a freaking mermaid and just, you know, or a merman or whatever and be in the ocean 24-7. Um, so it's finding ways to least affect the body and have the least imprint on the body for toxicity. And chlorine and, and fluoride and all those things run away and do everything you can to prevent them to getting into your body. Um, when you're taking a shower, take as little a shower as you can. Um, military style if you have to, two or three minutes. And, you know, make it a pleasant process as possible. Don't make the water too hot because then water vapor, the vaporization process can breathing that stuff in. If you don't have a shower filter on or if you're not able to have something to filtrate the water out, um, is like drinking 20 or 30 gallons if you, you know, taking like a 10 minute shower because it's actually a chlorine gas and all this other stuff that, that's coming out. So, ugh, nasty, nasty stuff. So, and you know, don't let this deter you from having uh, a, a nice shower and not making it a pleasant experience. Be mindful and make a prepared, like prepare a plan go by Home Depot or go online and go on eBay and look at some of these filtration systems that you can put on the shower so that you can enjoy yourself more. You can use like a, sometimes you can have, or if you have like the, the shower head, you can take the shower head and, and mount it and still put the filter on there and you can fill the tub up with filtered water so that you're taking out most of the stuff that's bad for you. So you can still take a bath and things of that nature. And I would say for children and whatnot, this is you know really critical at the younger ages for development and for their spiritual growth is to have a clean environment as possible and use the alternatives that they're out there. And um, the aromatherapy idea of you know having like the the green soap, I like to call it the Miracle Two soap, and like mixing lavender and other types of fragrances together to, for washing and stuff like that. Aside from being an, an organic and natural scent, so you don't have to scent yourself so highly in your clothes and stuff like that, um, it is aromatherapy and it is very, you know, it, it is very relaxing and it is a higher vibrational state. So I think that's everything I wanted to cover between the two videos. Um, again, if you do have a lemon, if you do lemon, lemon water or anytime you have any type of food or whatnot, rinse out your mouth with clean water or brush your teeth if you can, ideally, you know, brush them. But even before you brush them, rinse them out with um, clean water and if you need, if you want to swallow it, swallow it. But just brushing, if you, even if you brush your teeth just after having lemon water um, and you rinse it out, it's, there's still some citric acid on your teeth, bad juju, you know, it actually starts to eat the enamel. And um, that's really the only precautionary tale that I could say at this point in time is just be mindful of when you're doing these is to be good to your teeth and the rest of your body and uh, I think that pretty much does it if you have any questions send me questions uh, if you're if there's a particular type of video or topic that you'd like to see uh, put it down in the comments or send me a message that's uh, all it's all good um, you can seek me out on Facebook you can you can go and get into the high you know high vibration foundation page on Facebook as well you can send me messages there you can send it on YouTube you can do it on the foundation you can join the newsletter get the other types of these videos and events that are going to be coming up soon. I think that's everything. Thank you very much. Love and light and have a fantastic day.